What's up everyone, Kita Sean here. So it's been a while since I've done a trailer reaction video and uh, I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do it again because it's been a while. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do some more trailer reactions. And uh, the game that we're going to be reacting today is going to be a game that they just announced an hour ago. Uh, Square Enix just announced a new Octopath Traveler game called uh, Octopath Traveler Champion of the Continent. In Japanese, it's Taidoku no Hasha. So I'm actually really surprised that they're releasing a new game so soon. It's supposed to come out this year, actually, but not for the Nintendo Switch. It's going to be a mobile game which is very unfortunate i really enjoyed the original one on the nintendo switch it was so much fun um i really enjoyed playing it you know on a console on the go i was playing the game a lot actually last year when i when i was traveling I, when i went to japan uh, on the train the airplane etc so um yeah it was actually it was actually really a bummer to hear that it was for mobile phones but it makes sense because the game surprisingly surpassed 1.5 million copies which is ridiculous like, no one thought that Octopath Traveler was going to sell so much, which is really crazy. Like, I'm pretty uh, uh, surprised, but at the same time excited that, you know, it sold that many copies. So, um, congrats to Square Enix and Octopath Traveler, the team that created that game. It's really amazing. Um, I'm hoping for a sequel on the Switch, but uh, I'll definitely be playing Octopath Traveler on my phone, so uh, you guys don't have to worry about that. So, um... Without any further ado, let's go ahead and watch the trailer. This is my first time watching it. I did read a little bit on it, but uh, I'm, I didn't really read full, you know, the full details, but uh, I, I kind of want to see everything for myself in the trailer. So let's just go ahead and watch uh, the trailer. So the trailer is in Japanese because uh, they only released a Japanese trailer, but most likely uh, there will be an English release maybe or tr English trailer release. But uh, the graphics look about the same, yeah. HD 2D. Oh yeah, something about like you can switch the graphics or something like that, which is actually pretty interesting. But HD 2D for oh wow, that looks really nice. It covers the entire smartphone screen. Huh. Yeah, this the graphics are what I remember from Octopath Traveler. Look at all the characters. I mean, there was always a lot of characters in the first place in Octopath Traveler. There's eight characters. Wait, what? A party of eight instead of four? So they doubled it. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So instead of four, it's eight now. Okay, so this the it looks like the battle system is still the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it, it's still the same. But of course, you tap the screen. I mean, you can always tap the screen. But... Marvelous! <laughs> huh. Okay. But there's a story mode too, which is actually really awesome. Sing oh, single play! Hey. So, Square Enix has definitely caught my attention with this game. Uh, what really surprised me was the battle system. Instead of four characters, it's eight characters now. So they doubled the character amount in battle, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. So uh, really excited to see how that plays out. Uh, now the question is, are they gotcha characters or are they gotcha weapons? Because Square Enix, I know a lot of their mobile games have uh, gotchas with weapons instead of the characters, which is actually really nice. But uh, I'm... I'm actually okay with both ways. Like, I really don't care if it's gotcha characters or gotcha weapons. But I know a lot of players out there would love to have the characters for free instead of, you know, the weapon. Like, getting the weapon obviously will boost the stats and stuff like that. But uh, you want to play with characters that you want to play with. So, uh, I would hope that they would go with the weapon route. Because, of course, it's also a single player RPG mode. So, there's going to be a story mode. So, maybe these characters will have, you know, big parts in the story of the game maybe they'll make like you know side characters that have nothing to do with the story just like oh you can just randomly roll a character that has nothing to do with you know the story of this game but uh, i really like how it's single player it's not multiplayer no raid battles and such because uh, i personally like my rpg games um playing by myself so uh yeah i'm actually really excited to see uh what this game is uh, about um so again uh, this game is supposed to be three years uh, three years earlier than the or a couple years earlier than the uh, original or several years earlier. Let me, let me double check that real quick. 
Uh, it's supposed to be several, yeah, several years before the event of Octopath Traveler for the Switch. And um, yeah, eight character party command based battle. Um, it looks like uh, it's the, it looks like the battle system is supposed to be evolved a little bit. It's supposed to be smoother gameplay and there's going to be swipe controls. So because it is smartphones, swiping is a thing. Uh, choice of story between three reigning champions. Okay, so it's kind of like the original. You get to pick, you know, a character you want to, uh, you know, play with to see their story. So uh, that's actually really interesting. So basically, uh, maybe you can make different datas for this uh, different save data is possibly I, I don't know we have to you know wait and see we, we need more information on that but it does look like you can pick three different protagonists which is uh, pretty cool and uh, field commands uh, take various action towards characters on the field try out all sorts of things such as listen okay so they, they're bringing back all the uh, the field command systems okay that's pretty cool so listen for information steal items hire okay yeah so they're bringing back all the uh, the stuff from the original which is actually really cool so really excited for this now uh i'm gonna go ahead and pre-register for this game uh it looks like pre-registers are gonna open on march 12th so uh japan time of course so i'm gonna register for that uh if i get that registration um i can play the demo for this game so hoping i can get the the demo so that i can you know play a little bit early and uh maybe do a review on the game and stuff like that so Octopath Traveler, uh, what was it? What was it called again? Um, Champions of the Continent for iOS and Android. It's supposed to come out sometime this year, so excited. So, yeah, uh, if you guys are Octopath Traveler fans, comment down below and tell me because, uh, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the game as well. So I, I want to see your guys' input on the game, and I, I know it, it has a lot of great reviews. So yeah, just tell me in the comment down below if you guys like Octopath Traveler and if you're going to try out this new mobile game. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Laters.